All right, so I have your reading spread out. And I've also pulled a guidance card for you for the month. Your reading looks good. Um, but I just want to give you a few messages before I do these cards for you for the month of February. One strong message I'm getting that some of you are trying to, I think, heal something either physically or emotionally. And it's bringing to you healing. There's healing here for you. I think you have a good support system around you for whatever you've been trying to push through. But I think the message here is don't push so hard, right? In your all, in all your Virgo and energy, um, try, if you can, for the month of February to just kind of go with the flow. Go with the flow cosmically, astrologically. It's kind of very important for you to do that than to just grip on too tight and um, kind of lose sight of everything else that's around you. So that's like a strong message I kind of received. And worry is just worry. It it doesn't really take you far. It just gets you more worried. So now I'm going to go into the reading and to see, you know, what it is. I think some Virgos, you've been struggling or worrying about money. Um. And this could be like something that you do constantly worry about, whether you have a ton of it or not enough of it, right? I feel like some of you, it could be like owning a business or working for a company or just your own intake of your own paycheck. You're worried about not receiving money in, right? Or maybe people haven't been paying you on time or this. There's, there's been some energy where you've had to worry about it. And I think financially, all is good because you have the nine of pentacle, right? So you're completing cycles of if money hasn't been coming in or it hasn't been, you've been worried about the intake of anything monetary. I feel like it's going to open up to you or it should be opening up to you by the beginning of February. So into your second week, you're going to see that some things are working through and that you have a rebirthing, a renewal, a new regen regenerated renewal of a rebirth that's coming to you. And for some of you, I really believe that this can be monetarily, it's about money and it's related to funds in sums of money. Coming into your second week, I think that Maybe some of you, you have the four of wands, which is a beautiful card. It's happiness in a home. It could be moving to a home. It could be redecorating a home. It's just a comfort level of really feeling your home life. Now, I think some of you have battled some situations. Uh, maybe you're doing a lot more than you should. Maybe the, the six of pentacles underneath the house is... You know, maybe other people in the household need to step up and help you out. Maybe you do most of the responsibilities, but I feel like the energy will become reciprocal in the month of February because you have this Six of Pentacles and it is reciprocal. Could be finances, yes, but it's definitely an energy of giving and taking, right? And it's equal and it's fair and balanced. But this comes with after a period of going through, you need more either help monetarily or help emotionally. You need a little more communication or something that you can talk through or work through. I feel like if there's been any type of, what's the word I want to use? Maybe circumstance that has to do with others and family and maybe respect issues coming through. Um, again, the energy needs to be reciprocal. And if there's anybody that you've had falling outs with or, you know, a bit of competitive maybe quarrels or actions with other people, again, whether it's relationship dynamic, family dynamics, siblings, there's a rebirth and a renewal, so don't be afraid to open up and really try to work through maybe a 
problem that's been stemming that you can really shine your light here and, and get everyone on the same page. I feel like you can do that. If it's, you know, Virgo, you can do that because you have the groundedness and, you know, the detail to do that. Just don't beat a dead horse. Don't harp on it. Just try to go with the flow of energy. And you are going to bring a healing month or these weeks ahead are going to bring healing to you and from you to others. It's a vital part of your, your story for the month of February. You have the seven of wands and the four of cups. So third week of February, you're going to be feeling like everyone just wants a piece of you, you know, and you're finally getting your boundaries set and maybe getting your time to your, you know, within reason. So everyone's just not hitting you at one time. You do have the four of cups underneath it, which is Others need to get, be grateful for all that you do and all that you give. And yet the same goes for you because the Four of Cups is an opportunity that's missed because we don't see where we're blessed sometimes, right? We only see people pulling our energy, taking everything we have. We're trying to take care of everyone, fix everyone. We're doing everything we possibly can. Well, you are in this in this month, right? In in. You're good with it, but you hit, you're going to find a point where you just want to kind of get comfy in your home, you know, and just kind of have some energy to, to chill out and just relax and not be hit up so much that you, you drain everything that you have. Fourth week, I like this. You have two other people here. You have the Queen of Sword and the Princess of Pentacle. So there could be um, some good advice or an air sign around you that's helping you through or helping you with an emotional healing or a physical healing or maybe it's a friend or a mate or somebody around you that really has clarity. You could be embodying her archetype too. You could be embodying the archetype of seeing clearly, seeing with clarity um, have a keen sense. She's a little bit psychic. The Queen of Swords knows what she wants and she knows how to get it. So there could be others around you. The Princess of Pentacle could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, energy could be male or female. This is a general reading. Um, but there could you could be good advice for somebody else and vice versa to you. But I feel as though this Queen is just bringing out the good advice and what is needed for other others around you. I feel like you are doing a lot of healing and some Virgos, you might be in the healing trade, you know, so you're really bringing everything you have learned and everything you have to offer forward, right? For family, for friends, for work, whatever it is that you're giving, there is just something that you are enlightened with that you're bringing. So there is definitely for you for this month opportunities that are here for you you might miss a couple because you're you're not really looking at it there might be other people coming to you and they're not hearing what you're saying and there's there's opportunity for study for new um, projects new properties new investments there's just a grounded layout for a new home a new job um, and you don't have to worry so much by the end of the month about money. You know, it's going to kind of, you have to have the ebb and flow, you know, like as above, so below. And you have to know when to step yourself to the side and say, okay, let me give this worry up to God because I'm so grateful for everything I do have that the angels in your source is trying to say to you, lighten up, don't. Don't beat anything too hard because you have golden energy. You have the four of wands. There are good things coming and there's plenty of time to, and when I see that four of wands for you, Virgo, I'm feeling like the fourth month, which is April. That's what I get. And it's for your home, your foundation, your family. If there's been any circumstance within the family unit um, that you've been dealing with and try to have just know that there's renewal with others 
with family, with friends, with lovers. It's, there is definite healing at hand that maybe you can't see at this moment, but it's here for you. And there's a rebirthing and a renewal and time to start anew. And, um, I just feel like it's just very empowered for you for this month. And you see it, you see it all with total clarity and you're going to really work that. So other than a little worry and a little fear, I feel like the month is just golden for you. On the bottom of the deck, you're underlining energy for the whole month of February. Look at this beauty. Oh, just love the Ace of Swords. So there's new ideas, new inspiration. There is just a new beginning and a fresh start to logical thinking, to your thought processing, to you yourself, right? So I think for your solar return, for your year ahead, come the time of your birthday, in the next six months' time, you're really going to be feeling a new inspirational dynamic that comes to you, and I feel like it. You you're going to feel great with it. If it's something, I, it might be something you've already implemented or you're implementing this month, but it's like saying, you know you know, this sword is pointing up, what's up, the heavens are up, right? That's what's above us is the heavens. What's below us is the earth, as above, so below, like I just said. So this is like, I feel like for some of you too, this is a portal from above to the, to the earth. Open up, receive the information. It's coming through you and it's creating a new dynamic and a new start. For something that you're thinking about, like if this is something in business that you want to create and it's something new, go for it. If this is a new house or a new idea that comes with a relocation, go for it. You have like, this is like your gift certificate to say, here you go. We're going to give you all these, this information from above and we're going to download it to you. You take it and, and drive with it. You go. Go, girl, go. Go, boy, go. That's what I want to say to that. That's just beautiful. I'm going to put my Reiki stone right on top of that. So this is quartz. This is all about love. I'm feeling this for you guys. So, I, you know, just hold that symbol for a moment. Close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths. And just feel that energy. What do you see? I'm going to put that right on top of your new beginning and your fresh start. I feel like that's coming to you if you're doing the work now. It should be able to really transpire by April, March, April. All right, let's take a look at your guidance for the month. Oh, wow. You receive Medicine Guardian. So there's information from the angels. It's what we are just talking about. You cannot make this stuff up. It's what I was just talking about in this reading. Be open to healing information. So your angels and guides are sending through to you information that's needed for healing, whether it's emotional, physical, financial. There is some healing taking place for you, Virgo, for this month. Let me read a little passage from the book. <clears throat> Let me just get the page. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. All righty. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> here we go. Take a good look at that card. <clears throat> you could see uh, even in the symbology on this card, that's the medicine symbol. <clears throat> he's winged. He's all green. Uh, that's the heart chakra in the medicine. So like it could be a physical healing that some of you have been going through, a new regime, a new regiment. The message of this card is that you are being exposed to information and insights that will have dramatic healing effect upon your life. If you are working through something mentally or emotionally, know that there are spiritual energies supporting your healing if you are working through something that is physically challenging, pay particular attention to the information that's coming to you that feels inspired, insightful, and warm. 
It will be supportive of your wellness. Your angels are here to remind you that your natural state is one of wholeness and you are in the on the road to revealing that wholeness once more. So this could be like weight loss. This could be a new eating routine. If it's a physical, if you haven't been feeling well, if you haven't been feeling well, like this is, you know, the Ace of Sword is all about the new insight, the new. So there's some messages that they're downloading to you that's needed for your, your soul growth and what you need, whether it's physically or emotionally, like I said, even financially, because I was picking up a lot of financial worry at the beginning. Now, this is the heart chakra in this card because it's all green and gold. So, But your solar plexus with the gold and yellow is your wellness center. It's your will, right? That yellow, that bright yellow gold, it symbolizes your will and your courage and your determination to seek the healing that's needed with whatever practices are needed for you to do that. And here's the insight, and that's the download. You know, so be aware of those synchronicities. Feel how the body feels with something you might think of or some new technique that is going to help you to heal and to, to grow, even if it's spiritually. It's just beautiful. That was a very flowing... Um, reading for you. And if there's any other people around you, because you do have a few other people on the, on the board, maybe you are giving them healing information too. So sky's the limit. And if there's something that you can do and uh, begin, um, and you want to put that to, to use as far as a business someday, start thinking about it now, Virgo, because come March, April, you could really put it into effect and get really going on a second income or a new business idea or a plan. First, of co course, maybe you're going to be doing these things on your, for yourself, and then you're going to feel confident with enough wisdom to give them to others. 